to Basvik. Welcome to any uh, returning viewers and new viewers out there. Uh, usually I am filming in my library at home, but this time it's um, something very special because we are on vacation in Sweden and I thought this would be a great opportunity to make uh, an episode to, uh, yeah, to show you what I've been up to for the past couple of weeks. I've been really busy since the middle of uh, December, so I haven't... Um, I, yeah, I made a podcast on the 26th of December, but it was very short and uh, I really want to make something special for you. Um, so I hope you will enjoy this. My name is Frauge, I'm 34 years old and like I said, uh, I'm usually in my library and that is located in Denmark. But right now we're in Sweden on vacation. We've been here for the past uh, one and a half weeks and we're going home on Friday. We, uh, that is my boyfriend and our four Alaskan Malamutes, we have sled dogs and that is why we're in Sweden right now because we are sledding and skiing and just having the time of our lives. And yeah, I think we could stay here for the rest of our lives if, if we were allowed to do it. Um, yeah, but we have to go home again. Um, you can find me on Ravelry as F Seamer. I also have a group for this podcast, it call, it's called uh, Basvik. Um, you can find me on Instagram as Miss Seamer. That's my private account. I will put all the info down here. And uh, you can also find my store, Basvik underscore yarn there. I dye yarn, I do project bags, and uh, there's a link to my store as well, so you can check it out there. Uh, I hope you will look into it, and maybe you feel tempted to buy something. Um, I'm an enthu enthusiastic knitter, and uh, I've been knitting like crazy for the past uh, week and a half. Um, there's not so much to do up here besides sledding and skiing outside. It's uh, It's been frosty, right now it's snowing and it's very windy outside. Uh, but we're really enjoying the, the quiet uh, forest outside and um, yeah, there's no uh, TV up here so we're reading a lot and uh, yeah, there's lots of knitting time uh, in the evenings. So um, yeah, I'll show you in a few minutes what I've been up to. And some of you might think, well, she's doing the Scandinavian thing. And yes, I am. Because I am wearing the uh, Mayus Genser from Sandness. Uh, the pattern is from Sandness. Uh, I yeah, put the link, link down below. It's a Norwegian pattern. Um, and I made, yeah, I made it a few years ago. And I can't remember uh, what kind of uh, yarn I used. But I think I used their own. Um, it's cozy and warm and uh, I like using it but I haven't used it as much uh, this year as I usually do. Uh, it's been really really cold up here so it's I've been layered up with uh, synthetic things uh, and my big overcoat uh, from Fjellreu uh, when I yeah, moved outside. Uh, but it's yeah I just wanted to show you because I really love this sweater. Um, I've been knitting like crazy, uh, as I told you, and so let's move on to my first segment called The Beautiful and the Damned. On the last episode I showed you a lot of yarn that I bought when I was in Flensburg with my family uh, during Christmas. And um, one of the uh, skeins I showed you was for my boyfriend because he wanted something uh, cozy and warm and fluffy and yeah, just squishy uh, to wear. And uh, so he... Um, or I bought this um, rosy green wool, cheeky merino joy, uh, in the colorway gar uh, garden pond, um, uh, so I could uh, knit him a hat, and uh, I did. Uh, it was the first thing I uh, cast on when we uh, came up here, uh, because I wanted to finish it as quick as possible so we could use it while we were here, and uh, it uh, became this one. I don't know if you can see it probably I'll just take it like this it is the oh, I'll just put in some pictures here it's uh, the Jack Cousteau hat uh, from uh, I'll just look down here because my uh, Lala Poyanpa Poyanpa sorry I'll slaughter a few names in this episode but um, it's a lovely uh, pattern I found on Ravelry I wanted something really simple and yet still um, yeah, classic and beautiful, and it has this beautiful crown. Um, 
he's used it every day since it was cast off and it did the day after I cast it on. So I've been crazy knitting, uh, but it's, it was a fun and quick knit and uh, nothing spectacular in it. It's just uh, a rip pattern and um, it's really nice and squishy and warm and uh, he, he really uh, adores it. So um, yeah, he is, uh, yeah. I like giving him gifts if he uses them. So this was a, a great uh, project. So the Jacusto hat, I can recommend it for anyone who wants to knit their boyfriend anything. It was really lovely. Then uh, I showed you something else uh, the last time and this time I'll, I'll show you the finished project. Um, one of my uh, best friends is a singer and I adore her and her voice and then everything she does, she's just a lovely person. And I gifted her two skeins of yarn for Christmas because I didn't have the time to do the project I had in mind, but she got the pattern as well. So um, she got a pattern um, by Erika Heuser called uh, the Songbird Mittens, isn't it? Yeah, Erika Heuser. Um, the Songbird Mittens, and I've seen them around. Uh, a lot of people knit them uh, up for the past couple of weeks. And yeah, it's on Instagram, I've seen them. Um, and I put on... Uh, I put up some pictures last week on Instagram where uh, you could see the finished project um, and uh, this is the Songbird Mitten. I dyed up uh, a special um, yarn for my friend. It's called Gravel. It's the grey one and then it's a neutral. Uh, it's called Gravel because uh, her band is called Gravel's, Gravel Roads. You can look them up on Spotify. Um, yeah, she does uh, country pop music and it's she, she has a lovely voice and I'm going to see her live this uh, the 22nd of uh, yeah 22nd of um, February and I'm really looking forward to that uh, because it's always something special and very intimate so this will yeah be the same but uh, the song Burn Mitten by Erika Heuser it was a lovely pattern to knit I knitted on my um, uh, knit pro zings uh, 2.0 Five, I think uh, and it was a quick knit uh, the pattern was easy to follow and I can highly recommend it uh, the reason she got a sunburned uh, sunburned mitt is of course because she's a singer but also because she actually has a tattoo on her hand of a songbird um, and I thought uh, she just needed these and she was so happy when she received the skeins um, and I can't wait to go home and give her these and she's really looking forward to them so this will be something special to keep her warm um, yeah recommendation there songbird mittens those were a great knit um, I finished them when I was at home and I just had to sew in the ends and wash them so I did that up here and they dried very fast um, but then I wanted to do something else and uh, I cast on uh, a pair of socks just a quick knit and uh, a mindless knit so it's just van vanilla socks um, yeah Ooh. all tangled up um, I used uh, uh, Regia perfect the new uh, yarn from Regia and you can see the the color down below it's just a number um, but it's uh, gray scaled and it's going to be a bit darker and then it's going light again uh, and I bought this in Germany as well uh, and I actually bought it because I really like the colors uh, on this on the yarn label but um, yeah, I have to say I'm a little bit disappointed because it's not it's not starting off white and uh, it's just gray all the way. Uh, they're going to be nice socks and I'm trying something new with a heel. Uh, my first attempt at a fleagle heel, isn't it called? Or kegel? Fleagle? Oh, I can't remember. I'm putting a link down below or I'm showing you on the next episode, something like that. Um, I've uh, done uh, afterthought heel and uh, partridge. I heal is it called that yeah just let's just call it that for now um but I really want to try this because I, I like the look of it um maybe I don't like the end product but uh, well then let's just say it's test socks uh, but I've been uh, busy on these and then I've been uh, yeah when I cast these on 
it's just vanilla socks, so it's a bit boring. Um, so I had to do something else. Um, and I've started a project um, uh, during, uh, past Christmas. Uh, we were in Germany uh, for a couple of days um, with some friends and uh, stayed there over New Year and I started this project. I had been, I had this pattern called the Ladies Raglan Cardigan uh, for um, yeah a year. I bought it a year ago on Etsy. I'll put the link down below so you can buy it as well. And I really liked it because it was um, on bigger needles. I thought it was a quick project and uh, it's just been lying around and I bought the, I bought the yarn for it. Um, over the summer or actually in the spring last year because I was very certain of what I wanted uh, and it was uh, this one. Oh, sorry this one it's uh, Miss Babs and she had this lovely rusty color it's called roasted pumpkin it's on the heartland uh, base it's worsted yarn uh, it's 100% uh, merino wool it's 250 yards and four ounces uh, it is lovely and squishy and I, sh I simply adore the color it's it's really pumpkin means meets a rust uh, rust rusty car and it's with a great compliment to the color because it's uh, it's nothing sh shaggy or shabby about it it's really lovely um i wound up uh four skeins i bought six uh, and I think I will have two um, left uh, afterwards because I'm not using as much as I thought uh, But better safe than sorry, especially when ordering from the from the States I've been ordering ordering uh, a few skeins from Miss Babs uh, over the past couple uh, over the past year And I've been uh, very happy with all the yarn I've got there. It's um, a lovely quality and uh, they've had had great service when I, I needed a color to complement one of their uh, speckled yarns and so I can highly recommend them. I'm not sponsored by them but I, <laughs> I'm highly recommending them. And so I cast on the project, um, yeah, the back side, it's this one, it needs to be washed and blocked because uh, it, it needs a lot of blocking. Um, and so I needed to make the two side panels and uh, and arms, and I'm actually uh, on the last arm right now. It's uh, all knit in pieces, so I need to uh, stitch them together at last. Uh, but I will have to block them before I do that. Um, I need to do the the band for the the button band um, afterwards, and uh, and actually it's it's the first time I'm trying this. Um, this is the yeah, yeah the the arm the sleeve it's called and then I st I have to pick up stitches here to do the um, what's it called um, ribbing that's the first time I've seen that um, but it's really lovely and it's a very quick knit uh, I started this this morning and uh, uh, yesterday I, I knit up the other sleeve so uh, it's nothing uh, spectacular about that uh, it's a very nice pattern. Um, it was uh, inexpensive. I bought it on Etsy as a PDF file, so I got it right away, and that's something I really love, even though I'm not always very good at just casting on. Uh, but it's been really lovely uh, to have this. Um, I actually bought some yarn uh, at home. I didn't bring it down here. <laughs> uh, it's upstairs. Um, but some sadness yarn, because I wanted to try and make my own pattern for a blouse, but you'll see uh, or hear about that later. And about this uh, pattern making, I am really inspired at the moment. So I am trying to throw myself out there and just try something new. And so um, one of the things I made up here is this. I will show you these when I get home again. That's the only look you get at it. Um, those are socks and those, it's my own pattern. Um, I have been wanting to make these socks for at least a year because they are matching to a pullover I have at home uh, and I love the pattern in it uh, and I wanted some socks to complement it um, and uh, I will write it up and then I will probably do a, a shout out for a test knitter or yeah test knitters uh, so I can get it tested so I can um, bring it out to you. Uh, I love uh, I really like to knit socks. It's a, a quick uh, and fun 
um, fast project and uh, yeah, I cast these on the day after or the day I finished the hat for my boyfriend and they were finished uh, like three days or four days later because uh, I had to, to write the pattern uh, as I went along. So I'm really looking forward to showing you this. Um, I will get some pictures taken and I will get it out to you. So hopefully you will check it out. Just um, yeah, follow my Instagram so uh, you will be kept up to date, okay? And now for stash. Um, yeah, we've been, I've been busy. Um, it's been a, a hectic uh, couple of weeks and I've yeah, worked my butt off to be able to go here for two weeks um so it's not uh i've not been anywhere where you could buy yarn so this is my first um uh, attempt to get uh, new yarn into my hands and um actually i that's something i i always wonder about when we got up here i knew it's a touristy area where we are uh, but um, there are no not a single yarn store. Um, I found this little store in a town called Idre, um, where they have a yarn and fabric and um, clothing store. So I I always try to go there. Uh, <clears throat> and she has sadness and yerbol and um, Viking yarn. Uh, it's yeah, not a, a a great range of it, but uh, some of it. So um, yeah, I went there the other day and I bought uh, two skeins. I could get it at home, but I really wanted to, to buy a souvenir up here. Uh, two um, skeins of Sandness Tove yarn. And every time I hear this, I'm thinking of Skein Deer, because uh, she of often uh, recommends this. Uh, I want to do some mittens for my sister-in-law. Um, she's very into metal music, and uh, I found these perfect mittens. Uh, Call something with skulls. Um, just a second. Um, death flake mittens they're called it's with skulls and flowers and i thought they were really amazing so uh, i want to give her something special so i will knit these up for her and this is the yarn for it um also i bought some buttons for the cardigan i just showed you i can show you here i bought the whole round um yeah that's the thing the thing when you're going to a store and um you don't bring your knitting along so um actually i like the color and it's okay but uh, i will see if i have some greater buttons at home because i love buttons um and i tend to buy some and they're just uh, lying around um but uh, else these are going on the cardigan but i really like them and uh yeah that was all the stash i got up here i was actually standing with uh, four or five skeins of yellow yesterday yesterday uh but they only had black and white and gray, so uh, yeah, and I was standing with the black ones. Um, I'm not quite sure if I should have bought it. Um, well, we're returning someday, so maybe I will just get it the next time. Um, future plans right now are, um, I showed you this um, previously, it's uh, Volumizer uh, sock yarn, and uh, uh, mistakenly, uh, credit some, someone uh, for this but it is, it is of course uh, Danielle from Little Bobbins who made the it was the night before Christmas uh, socks and I really want to make these and um, I said it was a dream project for Sweden because there are pine trees all around and it's very Christmassy even though we're in January uh, but I really want to use this volumizer to do these socks and uh, hopefully I'll get to cast them on uh, tomorrow I will finish the sleeve today and then I have uh, Thursday <coughs> just to start them and then I can say I, I started them here. But the reason we're here is uh, of course uh, because of the sled dogs and uh, you usually see me in my library at home and I'm someone completely different there and I love the vintage style. But um, yeah, my heart beats for my dogs. Um, they're actually lying around on the floor right now and just relaxing. Uh, we went out yesterday and I will put some footage in at the end of this episode so you can see what we're up to. Um, we are living in this lovely cabin, uh, actually owned by some Danes. And uh, we have a lot of space and we are messy like crazy. Uh, we have a lot of uh, clothing uh, lying around and uh, we're just really enjoying uh, every second here. Um, I got this. 
before we got away from home. Uh, it's a measured measurement tape uh, and it's of course a sled dog and uh, I'm very proud of it and I really love it. Um, it's very special to me but um, yeah, if you're in a cabin like this you are completely uh, strange from the world around you and um, we have some lovely neighbors here and uh, they have dogs as well and there are lovely trails from the house and it's uh, it's just been really great to just uh, yeah relax and it's it's been so hectic uh, the weeks up to this so I really needed this uh, quiet moment uh, just me and my boyfriend and our dogs and uh, I've drank tea I am drinking tea right now because I found this David Rio chai mmm sugar free decaffeinated not so bad at all uh, I actually really like it it's instant tea so no bags nothing um, but it's really nice uh, and I've uh, yeah drank a lot of coffee as well but um, spending time up here it's just uh, you knit a lot I've bought a lot of yarn uh, or brought a lot of yarn up here so I wouldn't uh, yeah uh, be bored uh, but also I've just picking this up I've read a lot um, I took a book, uh, I, uh, I started a book uh, before Christmas about St. Petersburg uh, and it was great, um, but uh, right now I am uh, about to finish this one, it's called Hawks Moor by Peter Ackroyd, uh, it's the first book in the Bowie book club and uh, yeah, the late David Bowie was something very special to me, I really love his music, my first dog was called Bowie. Uh, just because I really love everything about that man um, and so uh, his son actually started this book club and I'm actually quite quite surprised that I have never read something about uh, or uh, from Peter Ackford before uh, but I'm really enjoying it is it's not a fast read even though it's uh, actually not a, a um, yeah, it's, it's not a, a, a long story, it's uh, thrilling and exciting and uh, I can't wait to see what he is uh, uh, doing next, um, that is uh, David Bowie's son, because uh, I really hope that he continues uh, so I can uh, get acquainted to even more, uh, especially uh, the British authors. I'm reading a lot, I studied uh, literature at university, so I am very into it, uh, but I am also uh, someone who gets uh, caught up in eras. Uh, when I studied, it was a lot about uh, the late Russian um, uh, writers, or the, from the late uh, 1800 and start of the 1900, uh, and uh, the past couple of years it's been very 20s <laughs> centered uh, about uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald and uh, Hemingway and the like. So um, this is uh, something refreshing and really, really nice. Um, so um, yeah, I will finish it and then maybe I'll tell you uh, if I uh, liked it even more when I'm done with it or it was, uh, or how it was. Um, yeah, but that's what we're doing up here. And uh, now it's time to show you in pictures and video footage uh, how lovely the surroundings are here and uh, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, episode it's um, it's very short today but uh, I wanted to uh, say hi and tell you that I'm still alive and uh, that I'm very much enjoying myself and I can't wait to be back next time it will definitely be at home um, but uh, maybe someday I'll be back and uh, then you'll have footage from here again so, uh, for now...
so what's up for next year? Mm. It's already the end of January. But um, yeah, and Katie has made big plans like make nine knit and make nine, my nine sewing. Um, I think it will be for the next episode. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. Have a great day. Bye.